Today we want to look at adding Google Fonts to your web page or your website and how to do it properly. First we might want to ask why add Google Fonts? Well you may want to use a fancy font that's not on people's computers normally and for today's demonstration I've picked out two that's probably not on your computer unless you specifically downloaded them and put them there. One of them is the Sophia font and the other is the Ribeye Marrow font. These are two we will be using for demonstrations. Both of these are found at Google Fonts. Google Fonts are free fonts that you can use. You can actually download them and install them on your computer. And then if you use them on your web page, you will see them. However, someone who does not have that font on their computer will not see your intended font. So that's why you add them through style sheets or through CSS and through calls to Google Fonts. Such a, we're going to show you these ways of doing it and that way everybody who comes to your web page will see the font that you intended for them to see so let's let's take a look real quick the first thing we're going to do we're going to use Sophia font and I've already got the HTML made up so let's just go over it real quick find it there it is and we're going to use this as the demonstration here so let's look at what it looks like right now it's just basic nothing there font so this is what it looks like right now. We're going to add the ability to use the Sophia font, this font right here, instead of the basic font that I have on there. So let's grab the, let's go to, uh, let's, let's say we're going to get the regular 400s. We'll get that one, and it didn't open up. So let's see how. Let's go here, see if we can't open it up. Sometimes you have to refresh to get this little box here on the side to open up. Anyhow, it's got everything you need right here just to copy and paste and get things working right away. Uh, we're going to use the link method first, and then we'll come over here and use that import into the style sheet be the second way. But let's use the link method. Here they have a couple things. Let me just pull it all out here so we can look at it. So let's look at here. These first two here are something fairly new added to their methods on how to do this. So what these two up here are doing, they're telling your computer to go ahead and start connecting with Google Font Server for quicker load times. Uh, and, and I recommend you doing that. We're not going to do it in this demonstration simply for the fact that there's no perceivable, perceptible difference in load time because I have hardly any HTML on these pages I've used. But we are going to use this one right here. This is the most important one. You don't need to use these two here. You always need to use this one if you're going to run it from your web page. So let's go ahead and put that in the web page. And we're going to put it in the heading right above the title. And let's save that. And we also need to get some CSS rules. So let's go back here and get the CSS rules. Uh, we're going to use a font family. We'll use this as the body font. So let's put a style in here. Remember, anytime you do a style, you have to start with style tags. Make sure they're open and closed. And we'll just go body. And we'll go font family. Sophia, and then we'll go, we have a fallback font here. For just in case, let's say the Google font server is down, cursive is typically a, a fallback font that's installed on most computers, and that's what it will just display. Something from your cursive family, like, let's see here, the brush script, which is cursive. And by the way, these are uh, web safe fallback fonts that uh, you can use. You always want to have a fallback for just in case the connection with the Google server doesn't work. So anyhow, let's save this. And let's run this. Oh, by the way, if you want to follow along, I forgot to mention in the beginning, if you want to follow along using Notepad++ as your code editor, but you don't know how to do that, I will. I have a video, a very short video, to show you how. 
And I will leave a link below in the description. So anyhow, let's look at this in Chrome. And you'll notice there's a Sophia font. If you remember what it looked like earlier was this. And now it looks like that. The Sophia font is being used. Now what if you want to use two fonts? Let's say you want to use one particular font for the heading. And another font for the body text. Well that's the next thing we're going to look at. We're going to say, let's say we want the ribeye marrow font to be for the heading. And the Sophia font to be for the body. It can be done. It's very easy to do. So we're going to go back to uh, Google Fonts. And we have, you notice we have this one here. So we could just, we could do a couple different ways. We could just put this in the heading. Let's go to my two, two Google Fonts HTML. And then we'll, and we'll change the name of Sophia to ribeye. Plus marrow. Okay. Okay, now we need to add our styles. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. We're going to have the body font be Sophia. We're going to have the heading font be the ribeye marrow. So let's just say that now. Let's run this. And you'll notice that's what we have. We got the ribeye marrow as a heading, we got the Sophia as a body. That's all there is to do it. Now, Google has made it even easier to do this. You'll notice I have these both open. We've been messing with them. Google's already figured out what I want here. I want the Sophia and the Ribeye Marrow. So we'll remove those two links and we'll put this link that in there. We'll remove these and put that one in there. Notice it's got both of the font families included. Sophia here, Ribeye Marrow there. And so let's run this. And there it is. We'll refresh. See, there it is. Ribeye Marrow for the heading. Sophia for that. So you could do it either way. The quick way is just to copy and paste from Google. So let's close these out. Now, let's work. Let's do this from style sheets rather than from the main web page. So let's take all this stuff out. And let's save this. So let's look make sure we're back to normal and there we are nothing right so we're going to go back to google again and we're going to go to their at import rules is what we want so we're going to get at import and we're going to copy and paste this into the style sheet which you will notice i've already done but i'm just but this is it sophia body font and we got it's the same exact thing let me now you want to in your style sheet you don't want these two style tags you just want to add import you want to add import and then your rules under it right so we're just going to remove that we don't need that right there and I'm going to include that style sheet which is the fonts.css style sheet. Let's save that. And we're going to put that in the heading. And there we go. And now let's run this. And look at that. It's all Sophia again. Now, let's run it using the two rules instead of the one included here so we're just going to use what google provided us and then we're going to run this we got the, uh, the at import the rib by marrow and the sophia and we've given our rules the body's going to be the sophia and just so you can see it real quickly i made it green and the h1 is going to be the rib by marrow and i've made it red so let's look at the two fonts html let's put the correct style sheet on there and let me rename this to DWO underscore GF. All right, now let's run this. And there we go. So that's really all there is to it. Just remember, you want to have some sort of fallback. And let's just look at the fallback real quick. We didn't put it here. 
Yes, we did. Okay, I got a fallback for the Sophia. It's going to be cursive. And for the ribeye marrow, I put a sand serif. That's, that way, the computer just doesn't randomly pick something. You, you're telling it what to pick if the Google font server is down. And that's all there is to it. So if this has helped you, how about leaving a like, comment, subscribe, share the video with somebody. And you have a good day.